Let's do it. Stony Brook kicking off the first of a six-game homestand here in December. They'll have seven games at Island Federal Arena in the month. The only one that isn't, not a, not a big one at all, at University of Florida. There's the alley, and no oop for and Anthony Roberts. Great design play by Gino Ford, but he wasn't counting on Stacy Becton Jr. to show off that defense early on. Stacey Becton Jr. does it on both ends of the floor. He's the team's leading scorer. Meanwhile, Rogers, right-handed bunnies down. The 6'9 sophomore from Knoxville, Maryland, has the first points tonight. And Rogers playing his best basketballs, really stepped up the last three games, averaging close to 14 a game, and exhibits that nice low post touch on the first possession. American nine points losers their last time out, 88-79 at Duquesne in Pittsburgh. Roberts again stifled at the rim. Stony Brook will keep with 12 on the shot clock. And that might be the second block for Becton Jr. Some great defense exhibited early on. Becton Jr. off of a 17-point, four-rebound effort. Fouled out in that nine-point loss against Duquesne, but a good game for American. As Mike Breton said, during this road trip, we've had a couple games where we've gotten hammered, some double-digit losses. That was a better effort against the Dukes. Five of the timer, Stony Brook. Policelli creating space. That's a long two. No go. American's going to be very patient on the offensive end. A lot of movement, a lot of cutting, a la the Princeton style. Smalls on the pull-up. Can't get the roll. Jaden Sales brings to the board. You'll also see that Prince, uh, excuse me, that American never really sends anybody to the offensive glass. That's one of the old Princeton philosophies. They want to get back on defense, and they have to do a good job stopping this really good transition game by Stony Brook. Nice touch by Jaden Sales. Top right corner of the glass, and he's got the first two for Stony Brook. And a really good feed there by Anthony Roberts. Roberts is already shown for Stony Brook. He could score, he could rebound, he could facilitate. Really a do-it-all type of player. Rogers, big fella, can't hit the triple. And Stony Brook's leading border has it, Tyke Green. And, Ro and excuse me, he can shoot that basketball from three Rogers. That's a good look. And they're going to continue to take that. You're going to see a lot of three-pointers from the Eagles tonight. 85 points the other night for Stony Brook. Season high against Yale. That ping pong basketball out of bounds. Stony Brook retained. Still 15 seconds on the timer. Just the second win of the season for Stony Brook. Now two and three. But if you frame it this way, they have not lost in regulation since two <laughs> difficult road games at George Mason and Kansas. The only loss in overtime at Fairfield. Sales again. And that will be a big bonus for Stony Brook if Sales can get on track offensively. Two nice buckets for the big fella early on. Back-to-back six-point efforts for Jaden Sale, the second-year Seawolf. By way of the University of Akron, three years there with the Zips. Smalls playing big. <laughs> I like what you did there. Very nice. Smalls coming off a career-high 22 against Duquesne. Versatile score, can step outside, can shoot it, and he's got a nice little post-up game. Has started each and every game, and Jaden Sells has a nice little post-up game. He's got all six for Stony Brook. And I tell you what, there's no question about it that that was designed early on by Geno Ford in practice all week long. Let's get Sales the ball early in office, get the ball inside. Smalls does it again. And back and forth we go. That's kind of been the MO this season for Stony Brook. They could score the defending. Well, they've got some work to do. Now we spoke to Geno Ford before the game. He said this, no question, is going to be a high-scoring basketball game. And... A nice defensive rotation there by Smalls, and it's going to be an offensive foul on Frankie Policelli. Colin Smalls, the 6'2 sophomore from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. And that's a tough call. I thought at the last minute, Smalls made it rotate it over and leaned in. Tough call on Policelli as we see it in a replay. Smalls banged up, battered and bruised a bunch during his freshman year, missed some of the campaign. Becton Jr. tuddled under the bucket and lost it. Turnover forced by Stony Brook. The Seawolves have been good in the turnover department this season, averaging just about 10 per game. And over the last three, they're coughing it up fewer than nine times per game. And both of these teams do a really good job taking care of the basketball. A lot of motion, a lot of movement. Mike Brennan's teams preach taking care of the basketball, moving, cutting. Roberts fading and connecting. A lot of hometown rolls on the right team so far for Stony Brook. How good has Anthony Roberts been playing? He can create his own shot at any given moment. Can shoot it from three. Nice pull-up game. Big pickup for Geno Ford Seawolves this season. Roberts making his fourth start of the season. Did not start against Yale on Saturday. Fading to the left. Smalls can't get it down. Rogers got a hand on it. 
And it's lassoed by Juan Felix Rodriguez. Stony Brick downhill. J-Rod pulls up, finds white reinforcements. Next whistle to our first media timeout. Stony Brick leading 8-6. Sales thinking about the three, taking the three. Front rim. Why and not? Good look. He's been he's been hot early on. Good kick out again by Roberts. Two for 11 now in his collegiate career. Becton into the lane, little strong, and Tyke Green has his second board. Rodriguez, only glass. That might have been a little bit too quick. Uh, the Seawolves want to push in transition, but you can get that shot any time in the possession. Rodriguez, 10 points in 35 minutes against Yelp, both season highs for the man who led Stony Brook in almost every offensive category last season. Rodgers with a soft touch from the free throw line. And Eight. Sales is going to have to come out and, and contest that shot. Rodgers has proven he can knock that down. Just too much daylight there by Sales. Tyke Green steps back for three. And now he'll go to the free throw line for three. An ill-advised pack just beyond the arc before our first media timeout. At this point in our season, Pav, I, I don't even read the, the free throw statistics just for you. <laughs> the play-by-play -play curse. Anytime you give a percentage or, a, or he's got an eight in a row, you know he's going to miss. And Green, two for two for early on. That's a silly foul, though, by American. You can't foul Tyke Green late in that shot clock. And he goes to the line with a chance. Rattles the third. Two out of three for Tyke Green, who is Stony Brook's leading rebounder and third leading scorer at 9.4 per game. Been a big time contributor for Geno Ford's club since arriving from Manhattan. Dead eight Stony Brook, five and a half minutes in here at Island Federal Arena. Donatio off the screen, pulls up, left elbow, no go. The tip in won't go either. Third effort, that won't fall. Johnny O'Neill had the third try and Roberts ripped it free off the boards. Stony Brook has been out-rebounded each and every game this season. Meanwhile, O'Neal, the thief, too much on it for Beckton Jr. He manages two in a chaotic sequence. And there's something you're not going to see very often. Johnny O'Neal picks the pocket of Jaleel Jenkins, who is absolutely lightning quick with the basketball. Dare I say Johnny on the spot? There you go. Patriot League Rookie of the Year. Roberts had that shot altered by Beckton. And I believe that's Beckton's third. Block shot of the game. We mentioned that American's gonna come in here and have to play some pretty good defense. There you see O'Neal, a lob a little bit too long, but Becton was able to retrieve it and finish for the Eagles. Uh, Mike Brennan told us that O'Neal is one of the hardest workers on his team, a grinder. You could see it there on the thief. Bragg. Finally finds Becton. 10 on the timer, guarded by Roberts. Great match of Becton and Roberts on both ends of the floor, really getting after it. Five on the timer, Bragg against Christie. Big boy basketball, Bragg can't put it down. The now, Canadian defends. Alex Christie's been playing some good basketball of late. Played really well against Yale, and he's getting some early minutes. Anthony Roberts, beautifully done. Same spot as Jaden Sells, top right quarter glass. Coast to coast for Roberts. We knew a big part of this game would be Stony Brook in transition. So far, so good. Donatio's pass deflected, and it's a jumping pin. Smalls out of the chaos. Bragg fouled by Christie. A fortunate bounce there for the Seawolves to cause the turnover. Good defense by Christie. Jenkins just couldn't get a hand on it. Couple of chaotic sequences so far. I think that's how American would prefer it. That means the defense is on par. Another peek at this one. Nice extra pass here by Smalls down low, and uh, Bragg will head to the free throw line. Fifth appearance of the season for the grad student Marvin Bragg, who opted out of last year's campaign. Mike Brennan happy to have him back. Six foot tall from California, big body. One out of two, and we're back to a one point game. Just under 13 minutes remaining in the first half. Bragg rewarded for the one for two by headed to the bench. Josh Alexander, the local product from Iona Prep in. Normally a starter, Alexander has been banged up as of late. 
America needs him in the lineup, just a cog down defensively in the paint. Green trying to take advantage of Smalls, and he's trying to foul. So Tyke Green, who has already hit two of three for the charity strike, will head right back there. And a tight contested for seven and a half minutes, no lead larger than two. Back to a two-point lead for Stony Brook. Love this quote from Tyke Green. I've kept it on the chart from last season when making the decision, where do I go from Manhattan? Sometimes when something feels right, you just have to go with it. And that was his thoughts here with Stony Brook. And it's worked out pretty well for Tyke. It's worked out pretty good for the Seawolves as well. He's a tremendous competitor. I love the way he rebounds in traffic. There could be six, seven bodies inside, and it's usually Green that comes up with the rebound. He's a man amongst boys down there. You saw Tyler Stevenson Moore check into the game, fresh off a season high 10 points. He started at Yale, was one of five in double figures for Stony Brook. Elijah Stevens dishes off O'Neill. Into the lane, back out Stevens. Only five foot nine, Stevens a blur with the basketball. Yeah, we talked about the great matchup with Roberts and Becton Jr. We got a great matchup with Jenkin and, and uh, Stevens. Stevens the foul. Committed on Anthony Roberts with 12.05 to go here in the first half. Not an easy task. But imagine that would be a mismatch. Anthony Roberts at six foot four with Elijah Stevens, the freshman, at five foot nine. Jenkins with the ball battling an ankle injury. Gino Ford said he should be about 100% coming into this game. First time off the bench as a Stony Brook Seawolf for Jaleel Jenkins. After four years as a knight from Fairleigh Dickinson. Roberts lost it in the lane, O'Neal emerges. Good transition defense by Tyler Stevenson Moore and Jenkins emerges with a thief. Three on three, Jenkins floater, count it. Great recognition there by Jenkins after the steal. Saw he had a lane, a little float and a soft touch. And Stony Brook with a five point lead. No tech off the screen. Stevens tunnels under the bucket. Reverse layup, no go for the lefty. Rebound scooped up by Roberts. Momentum for Stony Brook. Roberts pulled in a china shop, finds an open Omar Habwe. It's three. I love the way Anthony Roberts is distributing the basketball tonight. Got a little out of control. Regained the handle and kicked it out to Habwe for the big three. Only the seventh triple try of the season for Habwe. He's hit three of them. And Stony Brook now on a mini 6-1 blitz. Another interception forced by Hobway, caught by Roberts. Hobway making his presence felt. Roberts steps into the three. Side rim getting up to bring it down, Becton Jr. And again, that one a little bit too quick. I know Roberts can really shoot the basketball, but again, got to be a little bit more patient on the offensive end. Stevens cars into the lane again. Good dish off for Alexander. Number 21 over number 21, Alexander beats Christie. Yeah, beautiful move there by Alexander. Left, right, the beautiful righty jump hook got the roll. We should note Alex Christie against Yale, a plus 11 in 13 minutes for Gino Ford's group. Best plus minus of anyone on the team. Hobway splits the D, and a whole lot of contact turns to. Omar Hobway doing it all right now. Well, a bit of an X factor last year straight here at Island Federal Arena and seven of their eight in December right here on the North Shore. And December's going to be a fun month for the Seawolves. And for the Seawolves broadcasters. Absolutely. 15 on the timer. Rogers, the big fella, hands off Stevens. Freshman thinks about it, takes it, misses. And Omar Hobway, Johnny on the spot. Jenkins. Carves into the lane, jump fee. Jaden Sales already with six, a little strong. Good effort on the board by Tyler Stevenson Moore. And Stony Brook will keep with a new 20. That's a good shot for Sales. That 15 foot is right in his range. Stony Brook could really use Jaden Sales to be effective offensively night in and night out. Has had some big nights in the Seawolves uniform, was player of the week. 
last year once with a big 30-point performance. But he needs to be a little bit more consistent, and they need to get him the basketball a little bit better in, shoot, in, in good scoring position. Ted on the timer. Rodriguez hits Hopway. Back to Rodriguez. Quick trigger, triple. Side rim. Another good effort by Tyler Stevenson Moore. And again, we reset the timer at 20 for Stony Brook. Jenkins off the high screen from Sales. Fading. That's a long two. Book it. Good high ball screen from Sales. And Jenkins with a high arcer. Jaleel Jenkins, we know about his three-point prowess, has been able to hit from inside the arc for Stony Brook. Now on a 13-3 run over the last five minutes. He, along with Roberts, are two players for the Seawolves that can get their own shot at any point in time, along with Elijah Alani, but he's out of the lineup. Easy two for Matt Rogers. And he's American's leading scorer so far with six. Jenkins with room to the bucket, kick out. Tyler Stevenson Moore finds the open. Omar Hopway. Tremendous ball movement, the extra pass, and Hobway with another bucket. Omar Hobway, two of two from distance. The rest of Stony Brook 0 for four from distance. Largest lead now at 11. That was a beautiful offensive possession. That could have been a travel right there. Jackson, no tech, no problem. Tough shot there by no tech over the outstretched hands of Jaden Sales. The North Dakota State transfer and a Summit League champ in 2019 and 2020. Jenkins from way downtown, high off the iron. Heat check. I don't know if I like that shot either. All the way from the South Shore. 7.30 to go here in the opening half. With the Seawolves in search of back-to-back -back victories for the first time this season. Stevens into the lane and back out. No tech, corner pop, got nothing. Rodriguez leads the charge. Rodriguez tried to go the entire way. He stuffed. Block number four for Becton. Smalls gets big. Tough move by Smalls. Draws the contact on the big Jaden Sales and uses that left hand to kiss it off glass. A mini run for the Eagles. Stacey Becton Jr. after the contest, ninth all time in blocks at American. And Sales can't hit the layup. Kind of got caught in between the layup and the dunk there. Two hands. Good interior feed. Rogers can't make good on it. Aim for this game today. So we're so different from then two years ago. I don't think so. Well, you, you, want, you can understand as a coaching staff, you know, the Princeton offense, but the players have no idea because they rarely see it. Rogers with some contact into Policelli. And Frankie held his ground. Gino Ford said that America wants to get 10 to 12 backdoor layups a game. And Stony Brook really wants to limit them to about four or five, and that'd be a good defensive stand for, for Gino Ford's club. And so far, so good for the Seawolves. Jenkins pull up two. In and out. O'Neal gets up to bring it down. Final six minutes here in the first half. Rodgers again, one-on-one -on -one against Policelli. Great feed, one more to the corner. Johnny O'Neal, nothing. Back-to-back -back corner pop, air balls from American. And a good backdoor cut by Smalls. Policelli can't put it down. And another board for Johnny O'Neal. And for American to win this basketball, they have to shoot the ball well from beyond the arc. So far tonight, 0 for 4. And just 37% from the field overall so far for Mike Brennan's group. 12 on the timer. Revolts into the hands of the freshman, Stevens. Rogers again over Policelli. This time it's down. Rogers with the bully move. Rogers. Team high eight now for Rogers. Omar Hobway leads the charge for Stony Brook with eight. Another turnover, this one forced by Donatio. That was a really good backdoor cut off the back screen. Better defense there, though, by, by Donatio. Pull up triple. Smalls can't put it down. And now the teams have combined to miss five straight threes. Stony Brook scoreless over the last three minutes. Roberts puts the moves on. Kicks out to Jenkins, who salvaged a tough pass in the corner. Step back triple. Jenkins got it. Oh, my. What a tough shot there by Jenkins. Fading away in the corner with a defender on him. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Well, that's a way to end a scoreless drought. 
We're gonna fade away three in a corner. Just how Gino Ford drew it up. 15 on the timer now for Brennan's group. Stevens fakes the triple. Smalls on the pull up. Another try from the elbow. And still nothing going for American. Now 10 to 27 for the field in this first half. Jenkins feeling it. Pull up, triple. Oh, it's pure. And Gino Ford will tell you that Jenkins will take and make some tough shots. And in the blink of an eye, it's a double-digit lead now for Stony Brook at 11. Boy, what a difference maker it is having Jaleel Jenkins and Anthony Roberts on the hardwood for Stony Brook. Smalls, a third consecutive miss, second try, puts it down. Good effort by the 6'2 sophomore. And you mentioned Jenkins, the transfer scored almost 1,700 points at FDU for Greg Horenda, and certainly you can see why. Now it's 1,753 in his career. Looking for another assist, Frankie Policelli. Oh, it's raining triples. And you had to leave Policelli when you saw Jenkins take it to the basket. The rotation, the good decision by Jenkins. And this is that Seawolves offense that we've been talking about. And there's that Seawolves defense. Green. Fouled en route to, of course, you're the winner of Mr. New York basketball in <laughs> which, which year was that? Uh, stop telling lies. Under three to play, 37-23, Stony Brook over American. The first of a six-game homestand for Stony Brook. Shot left short by the Patriot League Rookie of the Year, Johnny O'Neill. Policelli, quick trigger. Left it short. And again, sometimes a little too quick for Stony Brook. They're shooting the ball well. They've taken, at, I would at least say, four really quick threes that they could be a little bit more patient on. And that has certainly been a point of emphasis for Gino Ford and his staff. The Eagles, 11 of 30 from the field, and all 11 have been inside the arc. Now 11 of 31, they're 0 of 5 from distance. Into the corner, Green, all day, no go. Policelli got a finger on it, battle for the board, and it's won by Bragg. And, but that was a real good three by Green. Wide open, good ball movement, ball movement kicking it up ahead. With under two minutes to play, right-handed layup off the glass, and that's all it got for Colin Smalls. Stony Brook's done a really nice job of controlling the boards. Anthony Roberts, four points on two of six shooting. But as he's shown so far, as a Stony Brook Seawolf, more of a second-half player. Corner pop, delivers. Beautiful kick out by Felix uh, Rodriguez. And the, the knockdown jumper by Roberts. Stony Brook playing some unselfish basketball. 17 of the 19 for Roberts against Yale in the second half. 8-0 run for Stony Brook. And they might add to it here, two on one. Roberts, Jenkins, and Roberts to finish. Count it with a bucket. It's a chance at three. And Stony Brook's lead balloons to 19. Stony Brook firing on all cylinders, turning defense into offense, and they really look good on this 8-0 run. And Jenkins shot out of a cannon. You're not going to be able to stop him. Great decision. Roberts with the harm. He'll go to the line with a chance to complete the old-fashioned three-point play. 16-2, the Stony Brook blitz over the last four minutes. American scoreless over the last two and a half minutes. Roberts at the free throw line where he helped seal the deal for Stony Brook at Yale. Hit six of his final six free throws. And now seven of his last seven. Terrific second half for Roberts against Yale. Started off a little bit slow, but he carried the Seawolves when Yale was making their run. O'Neal, long three won't fall. The Eagles 0 of 6 from three-point land. Roberts feeling it. Into the lane, left hand, won't go. Tyke Green stuffed by O'Neal. Stony Brook retains 47 and a half seconds remaining. Some good defense by the Eagles. Two opportunities by the rim for Stony Brook. Still 20 on the timer. Take two now for Stony Brook. Much more difficult place to take the ball out of bounds. Hard to run a play when you're taking the ball on the sidelines. Much easier along the baseline. Jenkins, team high 10, floater, count it. Jaleel <laughs> Jenkins is unstoppable. Just has so many 
tricks in his bag. He can go to the basket. He can pull up the floater, knock down a three. 22 of the 45 provided by Roberts and Jenkins. And it's an easy first two for the Rome sophomore, Lorenzo Donadio. Very nicely done. And that was the first backdoor layup. For the American showing a little zone right here. One, two, two. Jenkins on the move. Drew the double, Roberts, one more wide open. Tyler Stevenson, more can hit. Hobway. So in back-to-back -back games, Stony Brook has their largest halftime lead of the season. It was 15 in New Haven at Yale, and it is 20 today at home against American. First possession owned by the Eagles. Smalls and Rogers led the charge, eight apiece. This is O'Neal, left-handed layup won't fall. Good move up by O'Neal to the basket. American was really hurt by shooting 0 for 6 from downtown. That is such an integral part of their offense. They have to make shots from the perimeter. Yeah, Patriot League Rookie of the Year now 0 for 4 from the field. Sales are the first six for Stony Brook. Kicks out to Rodriguez, carves into the lane, high floater, no roll. Sales got a punch at it. That wouldn't fall either. And lost in the uh, in the in the Jenkins Hobway. Coming off the bench getting 20 was the early play of Jaden Sales. Kind of set the tone for the Seawolves with those six early points. 45 points in the first half, the most this season by Stony Brook. 42 against Yale. So good starts in back-to-back -back contests for Gino Ford's group. Bad start from the free throw line for American, they're 0 of 7. And St Stacy Beckton Jr. still hasn't gotten on track. Roberts. Leading score only has two. Little heat check there from Anthony Roberts who is in double figures in just the first half for the second time this season. Had 17 in the second half against Yale. O'Neal finally ends the dry spell. It's his first point, so the first three of the night for the Eagles. A really nice execution. The backdoor cut, the help came, and O'Neal popped out, knocks down the three. Well, so far this season, nobody takes more threes or makes more threes for the Eagles than Johnny O'Neal. You mentioned that. Rookie of the year last year. His dad was a tremendous player, played at Fordham University back in the day. Policelli off the mark on the triple. Stacy Becton Jr. draws the contact. First foul of the second half, two minutes in. And of course, Donadio knocks that one down after the foul and the kick out by Becton. And American really has to get Stacy Becton Jr. on track here in the second half if they're going to make a run at this. Eight players in the score sheet for American, none in double figures. Pull up, Becton. Johnny on a spot right there. I thought that was O'Neal. <laughs> and the lead is 15. First five to the Eagles here out of the gates in the second half. Only home game number two for Stony Brook, the first of a six game homestand as Roberts delivers with contact through the car wash and cleaner on the other side. What a tough shot, falling down with the left hand. Anthony Roberts continues to impress on the offensive end. Roberts continues to match Jenkins, each with 12 now. Inside out, back in, interception, Ty Key Green. He leaves the four on two. Ty Key is met at the rim. Good defense by Becton Jr. And that won't be the first time we say that. <laughs> or rather, last time we exactly. say that. And I don't know what they're going to credit with him with that, knocking that away. If it's a block shot, if it is, that would be his fifth of the game. You see it, the transition basketball here. Tyke Green looking to go coast to coast, and Becton Jr. hunts him down. Jaden Sales earns two from the free throw line. Matt Rogers almost the rejection. We noted Sales off of the good start for Stony Brook had their first three buckets after back to back six point efforts. Had six points just three minutes in. If you're going to win the America East Conference, you have to have some sort of interior scoring threat. And, the, and there has to be Jaden Sales. He can score the basketball. He can shoot the basketball. He's got a nice touch around the basket. There's not a lot of size on this Seawolves roster, and Sales has to be the guy. Policelli's been playing a lot of the five spot here early on in the season, but that's not really his strength. His strength is to step outside and knock down that three ball. Sales out. Jenkins in. You should note Sales six foot nine. That is most of the time the tallest available player for Stony Brook. Alex Christie will log some minutes to seven footer. And Christie more of a defensive rebounding threat. Can finish around the basketball, but that's not really his around the hoop. That's not really his role. Becton 
backing down and into the lane, able to find two. Good work against Anthony Roberts. And Becton's starting to heat up a little bit here in the second half. Becton, the senior from Daytona, 16 points per game, best on the team. Just over four boards, that's third best. And he makes it a pair, Stony Brook first to 50. Roberts had 30 points off the bench at Fairfield and followed that up with a 19-point effort against Yale, 17 of those in the second 20 minutes. Becton on the backdoor feed, never got to Smalls. Battles with Jenkins. 10 on the timer. Becton unleashes and connects his third bucket of the second half. You gotta give a lot of credit there to Colin Smalls. Dug down deep, got the loose ball, and kicked it out to Becton Jr. for the knockdown. American misses their first seven and hit their last two from distance. Cross-court feed, Policelli finds Rodriguez. Running baseline, handoff Roberts. 12 on the timer. Roberts puts the ball on the deck and delivers. Johnny O'Neill on skates. A beautiful use of the bounce to create some space to step back three. Anthony Roberts really can score the basketball. Yeah, so many dynamic scorers for Stony Brook this season and a great backdoor feed. Johnny O'Neill comes back with the facilitation. Donatio the finish. And Americans showing what they can do on the offensive end. They really struggle in the first half. Easy bucket missed there by Tyke Green. But you see how difficult it is to guard this American offense. Becton, one-on-one -on -one against Pulicelli. A whole lot of contact. We play on. Jenkins downhill, four-on-three. Finds the open Rodriguez. One more the trailer. Frankie Pulicelli rolls off the front rib. Good look for the Seawolves. Five minutes into the second half. 16-point game. Stacey Becton Jr. starting to heat up for American. Five-game losing streak right now for Mike Brennan's group. With six games down and two more to go on their eight-game road trip. Becton again. And where was Stacey Becton Jr. in the first half? He is showing it off here in the second half. Really being aggressive, taking it to the rack, shooting the basketball, and uh, a 14-point lead. Mike Brennan told us this is a team that is built around Becton. A quiet kid naturally, but shows his leadership through his play on the hardwood. 10 on the timer, Jenkins. Turns on the Jets, Jenkins by everyone. Jaleel Jenkins! Jaleel Jenkins, six of eight from the field tonight. And two of three from distance. The lead climbs back to 16 for SBU. Both teams shooting 43% for the field. O'Neal met by a triple team. Really struggling that first half. One out of two for O'Neal, who is only one for five from the field today for American. Has done a good work on the boards, though, with six. Hobway off the jump stop. One too many steps. Smalls in the corner, receives it back from O'Neal. 12 on the timer. Offense starting to get going for American here in the second half. Outscoring Stony Brook by five, rejection. Bragg got it back, four on the timer. Bull in a China shop, give him two. Yeah, great job by Bragg, staying with it. Marvin Bragg got the first one blocked on a quick double team by Hobway, but there was no quit. Roberts, Jenkins, Hobway, Rodriguez, and Tyler Stevenson more the five. Anthony Roberts, a little strong. Great kick out by Juan Felix Rodriguez. That's the one that usually goes down for Anthony Roberts. Wide open look at the three. Fifth rebound for Becton Jr. A couple players with an opportunity at a double-double tonight. Becton Jr., one of them elevating. Can't connect. The tip in won't go either. And who winds up with it? Stacy Becton. Yeah, but give all that credit to Marvin Bragg. Triple. High off the iron from Smalls. And foul off ball underneath the chin. It's on American. And that's going to be on Marvin Bragg. Working a little bit too hard down low. You love the effort, though. Well, we noted in the first half, five games down for Stony Brook. They've lost the rebound battle in each of the five. Right now, 27-27 in that department. 
As you see, Alex Christie checked back into the game. He should help in that rebound department. No doubt about it. Big body inside. Seven footer from Oakville, Ontario, who had two points, four rebounds, and a rejection in only 13 minutes against Yale. Gino Ford said, expect to see some more of the Canadian throughout the season. Yeah, has patiently waited his time, and his time has come. He's going to be a big contributor down the stretch for the Seawolves. Time has come for Anthony Roberts as well Anthony on the fadeaway. Roberts. Two more. And yeah, the time keeps coming and coming for Anthony Roberts. I mean, we talked about it early on. Roberts and Jenkins can get their shot at any point in time in the game, and uh, it's certainly been on display tonight. That's a long two. Left short. Rebound up for grabs. Lincoln Ball's got it. Ball the sophomore who missed the shot and tracked down another rebound. Off the Becton miss. Third opportunity here for the Eagles. Becton with heavy contact from Christie will go to the free throw line. Let's look smart in our player spotlight in the broadcast open. Only two in the first half. He now has 12. He's the only player in program history, Eagles program history, to garner back-to-back -back Patriot League all-defensive team honors. And he starts the season as their leading scorer, leading boarder, and leading minutes eater. And Mike Brennan going to go a little zone here, see if he can slow up this Stony Brook offense. Hobway into the corner. Tyler Stevenson more passed up on the triple. This will be a backcourt violation. And good call by Mike Brennan coming out of the timeout. Creates a turnover. Shows a little different look. Down 13. Anthony Roberts turned to Tyler Stevenson more and said T and kind of made the motion to shoot that next time. Hey. Always easier to say after the pass goes Absolutely. through It was a good hands. pass. It's just a little, little too much gas on it. Becton, top of the key, takes the high screen. Tyler Stevenson Moore stuck with him. High low feed from O'Neill. And before that ball headed out of bounds, foul on Stony Brook. Yeah, Alex, Alex Christie battling down low against Alexander. That was a hot pass for Alexander to catch, but prior to that, Christie with a little bump inside, and uh, Jaden Sales will come in for Alex Christie. Still a whole lot of mixing and matching for Geno Ford. A lot of new pieces this season. Still want to figure out how all those pieces of the puzzle are going to fit together. Becton gets the motor running in the corner. Yeah, early on against some pretty good competition, it's hard, especially early on. Stony Brook really struggled to get 10 in practice with injuries and illnesses, but you can see they're really starting to gel, believing in each other, making the extra pass, and uh, the results you saw against Yale and certainly tonight against American. Great defensive possession for Stony Brook. Roberts on the offensive side, lob feed, sales, count it. Jaden a chance at the old-fashioned three-point play, fresh off the bench. And that was a beautiful look there by Roberts. Roberts is playing certainly a complete basketball game, keeps getting in the lane, the little lob inside, and the finish by Sales. Roberts has 19 points, nine rebounds, and four assists. Anthony Roberts doing it all for the Seawolves. Not enough on the free throw from Sales. So we stay at a 15-point game as we approach the halfway marker here at half number two. With the Seawolves kicking off that six-game homestand, American game number seven of eight during their road trip, trying to snap a five-game skid. O'Neill, rocket feed into the lane, and Stony Brook emerges with it. Good effort by Roberts, give him a steal. A lot of different options for this Stony Brook team, depending on who's on the hardwood. Dynamic guards right now in Roberts, Jenkins, and Pulicelli. Long two, smooth touch, Jaden Sells. And here's an option that you hadn't seen early on this season, and he's got 11 tonight. Jaden Sells playing a terrific basketball game. Three straight starts for the big fella. Speaking of big fella, Rogers thought about shooting, that almost traveled. Here's Smalls, burrows into the lane. Kept alive in the corner by O'Neal. Rogers after it. 
still alive. Smalls at the block, can't finish. Sequence lives on. And Stony Brook will come away with a foul. Jaleel Jenkins started to get the motor running, almost cartoon style, right? The feet are going, but no one's moving. Pretty good foul there for American because Stony Brook certainly had numbers and you had Jaleel Jenkins with the ball in his hands. And Anthony Roberts will take a well-deserved seat on a bench. Terrific performance so far by Anthony Roberts. Not a bad consolation prize for Stony Brook as Juan Felix Rodriguez <laughs> hops off the bench. Last year's leading scorer. Jenkins does it again. Beautifully done with a right hand. And he's got that uh, Trey Young, Emmanuel quickly floated down pat, quickly takes it from about 15, but such a soft touch on that floater by Jenkins. I'm sure quickly will be happy to know that he's in the same category as Young. Right-handed bunny rejected. Second stuff for Sales. First game, as Sales makes it one out of two, which is I've accomplished a lot here at Stony Brook, and I didn't come back here to, to have an average season is basically what the quote said. Absolutely not, and uh, had three sensational years here at Stony Brook before he went to Miami, and uh, certainly was looking forward to his, senior, his, his graduate year, and uh, we hope he gets back soon. Under eight minutes to go, quarter pop, Stevens in and out. Another battle for the board and it's won by Rogers. This time it's an open Jackson, no tech, no problem. The North Dakota State transfer buries his sixth triple of the year. Jenkins can't respond, high off the iron and Tyke Green almost lasts it in the board. Instead it's the 5'9 Stevens, the freshman from Waco. Receives it back, steps into another. This one down. And after really struggling in the first half from downtown, American starting to find its touch a little bit from three-point range. Still a 14-point lead. They have not been able to get this into single digits. Stone Ever has always had the answer. Oh, eight, seven points and five rebounds. Had his sixth career double-double in Stony Brook's home opener in that 75-72 win against Sacred Heart. Final seven minutes here at Island Federal Arena. Seawolves looking for back-to-back -back wins. Three-pointer left short by Stevens. And barring a big-time comeback by American, they will drop their sixth consecutive contest. You know what's really impressive about this performance tonight by the Seawolves? They have not gotten a lot of scoring from either Juan Felix Rodriguez or the man with the ball right there, who we highlighted, Frankie Policelli. So... This is a Stony Brook team that can go to a lot of different options. And another option right there, Tyke Green knocks down the three. And that is the eighth three ball of the evening for the Seawolves. No one's been more efficient from beyond the arc than Tyke Green, eight for 13 now this season. Stony Brook had 11 three-pointers against Yale. They never had double-digit threes last season. Good hands by Jenkins. If you asked Gino Ford before the game that you would have three points from Rodriguez, and from Policelli, he said, maybe, maybe we're in trouble. But no, they've come up big. Hobway's been terrific off the bench. Jaden Sales turned in a terrific performance. Tyke Green, and obviously we know what Roberts and Jenkins have done. Stevens into the corner. Donatio, seven on the timer. Americans got to move. Becton with three. Chucks one up. Front rim, no go. All five players on the hardwood right now for Stony Brook are transfers. Juan Felix Rodriguez has been here, Sales has been here, as well as Frankie Policelli and Tyke Green. Anthony Roberts only the this year's transfer. But that's the state, that is the state of college basketball. With the transfer portal, teams are not really recruiting freshmen nearly as much, except the big time schools, the one and done type players and the one and done type schools. But for these mid-major schools, they have to get it done through the transfer portal, and you can see how effective it can be. Look at what Anthony Roberts and Jaleel Jenkins has brought to the Seawolves this season. Told you about Stony Brook's four-man transfer class from this season. More combined points than any other transfer class in college basketball. Tyke Green long from the corner. Stevens leads the charge, a little stop and go. Kick out Becton, rises, fires, no go. Speaking of transfers, this is an American team that lost Jameer Harris, who headed to, to Seton Hall for his fifth year. He was their leading scorer, maybe the best player in, in, in the Patriot League Conference, so they were really hurt by the transfer rule. 
Rebound there in the last sequence by Anthony Roberts has given him his first career double-double. And we have a timeout on the floor, the official timeout. Stacy Becton Jr. is coming up a little bit lame, limping towards the bench. 19 points, 10 rebounds for Anthony Roberts. Almost hard to believe first career double-double. Yeah, exactly. He's really starting to buy in on everything that Geno Ford wants him to do. Like we mentioned, came in as an incredible score, but he's defending, he's distributing, he's rebounding the basketball. Juan Felix Rodriguez, the interception. No finish. Off to Jenkins. Cleaned up by Tyke Green. Tyke Green showing him how it's done. And you <laughs> see, you know, Juan Felix Rodriguez was ahead of the pack. Stony Brook could have just hung back and watched. Instead, Jenkins gets a rebound, and obviously, you see what Tyke Green does and delivers. Jackson, no tech. No rim. Second air ball today from the transfer. And with 4.02 to go, Alex Christie comes back in for Stony Brook, leading by 21. And Gino Ford and Dan Ricard and the staff give Brian Weber, they all give Jaden Sales a high five when he comes off the bench. What a terrific performance. You see the highlight by Tyke Green finishing. Rodriguez straight on triple. It's all falling for Stony Brook. And Rodriguez's first points of the game. Nine three-pointers for Stony Brook. We noted they never hit double digits in three-pointers all of last season. Had 11 at Yale. Rodgers, elbow jumper, won't go. And a green skies for the rebound, as we talked about. American has struggled in that Princeton offense today against Tony Brooks' defense. Gino Ford said we have to be disciplined on the defensive end. This is an American team that's going to take a lot of time off the shot clock. And disciplined they have been. Jenkins inside for Christie. One bounce. Got to look at things, and you know, while you're missing Elijah Olani, he kind of makes you go back to the drawing board a little bit. You got to change your defense a little bit. You got to change your offense a little bit, and make some adjustments. And uh, so far, those adjustments have really paid off for Stony Brook. Anthony Roberts on the bench. Kane Roberts controls. No relation. Modiallo. A few new faces on the hardwood for Stony Brook. That includes Preston Shumpert in the corner. Kane Roberts fading and connecting. Welcome to college, Kane Roberts. Maybe Anthony Roberts taught him a few things on how to make a tough shot to turn around. Jumper, first bucket. And Kane Roberts, an interesting story, spent last season with Earth Friends in the professional Japanese B League. He declined to take his salary in order to maintain his amateur status, and that allowed him to come here to Stony Brook. Roberts has the board. Raised primarily in Tokyo. High school in Southern California at Santa Margarita High School. Actually, because of COVID, wrapped up that graduation virtually from Japan. No go. Tough move inside by Chris. The crowd really wanted to go. A crowd favorite. Stevens left open. The freshman cans the triple. It's his second one of the after or rather of the evening. And Stevens. And Stony Brook's leading scorer tonight, yet again, Anthony Roberts, with 19 points, 10 rebounds, five assists. Nearly the steal there by Ball. It is the first career double-double for the two-time transfer, Roberts, who has found a real nice home here on the North Shore. Gino Ford, by the way, will go to 32 and 31. He'll go over 500 in his head coaching career here at Stony Brook. We'll get some words from Gino following Stony Brook's victory. Some words. <laughs> you'll, get, you'll, get, you'll get a word in, and Gino finish after that. Diallo kicks out, Stevenson Moore, one more, Shumpert down. <laughs> Preston Shumpert, his first bucket as a Stony Brook Seawolf. Beautiful left-handed stroke, and the great ball movement continues for the Seawolves. Oh, big time jam. Lincoln Ball going out in style. Stony Brook will be right back here on Saturday to host Wagner. 
Another 6.31 p.m. tip-off. Stevenson Moore steps in the long two, high off the iron, punched out by Diallo, and recovered by Colin Smalls. Again, that game against Wagner on Saturday. You can catch it here on ESPN3, but also on regional television on SNY. Back-to-back -back buckets by Ball. And Ball really plays hard. I like what he's done when he's come in the game, been very active on the glass. Athletic kid, showing off with the dunk, and now the little pull-up jump shot. That'll be ESPN Plus or SNY on Saturday. Good effort all around tonight for the Stony Brook Seawolves. And in two tries at home, they are unblemished. The Seawolves climb back to 500. It's an 80 to 50 